I was realizing that I was, my default setting was to complain. So if I'm focused on scarcity, lack mentality, you know, what I'm missing, what I'm losing, then I'll always be a loser. <laughs> Plain and simple. That's just how I was thinking. Welcome back. I haven't vlogged in a while, but it's go time. As you see, I have a white tee on, some gray sweats. I'm not playing any games today. If you know, you know. And for those that don't know, let me show you a photo. Yes. So that is Asia Wilson. She plays for the Los, An Los Angeles, the Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA. And ultimately, when she goes white tee, gray sweats, that means she's playing zero games. No games. And I don't mean on the court. I mean up here. And just a little background. The Las Vegas Aces have won back-to-back -back championships. And they are striving for their third. But they came across a lot of road bumps throughout the middle of the season, almost in last place, but they weren't ever in last place. And something switched up after the Olympics where she was just like, you know what, it's time to lock in, forget these, you know, looks, forget the fashion. It's, it's all about basketball. And right now for me, it's all about business. And that's what I'm about to talk to you guys all about today. So let's go. So if you were following 40B40, you kind of know where I'm at right now. I'm currently sitting in my office, my home office. I do work for myself. I'm self-employed as a full-time auntie, real estate transaction coordinator, business career confident coach, content creator, live streamer, and pretty much whatever else generates income, brings me money, or whoever wants to give me money. <laughs> that is the beauty of being self-employed, is I'm not opposed to, obviously, as long as it's legal, ethical, moral, uh, different avenues in which I can receive income. And posting here on YouTube is definitely a goal of mine to eventually monetize, but in the meantime, I really feel like posting is more important than the financial aspect of things. So where we left off last time is becoming a full-time content creator. So although I have not been posting here on YouTube, I have been posting very consistently. Well, I've actually been live streaming very consistently on TikTok. So you're probably wondering, you know, what do you mean you're live streaming? What does that even entail? <clears throat> so, in order to go live on TikTok, you have to have, like, you have to meet certain credentials. You have to meet certain criteria and thresholds, right? And mind you, I've only had about, not only, I mean, I've had about 100, close to 200 followers in the course of being on the platform for three years. And most of them are family and friends. So shout out to you guys for always supporting me and holding me down. Um... But one random day, I got the feature to go live. And I was like, wait a minute, is this for real? So I thought it was like a trial. Um, I hit the live button and as it turned out, it was for real. So I started going live on TikTok. And at first I was just like, what am I gonna talk about? You know, and then on my real estate channel, Transaction Care, I also got the live feature there. So I was like, wait, what is going on? How did I, how did I get selected? to go live because to my understanding you need like 5,000 followers um well actually at the time it was a thousand followers now I think they upped it to 5,000 so I was just like you know what I'm, I'm gonna just rock with it and see what happens you know and I, at the time I was really struggling with my business I was really struggling with the direction I was going in life in general um you know financially it hasn't been the best but it's also been challenging me to be creative and push myself out of my comfort zones you know getting myself together outside of work you know whether it's fitness uh faith especially with my faith different ways to have fun even if i am on a budget you know learning how to communicate in those situations so i'm not just depriving myself all the time you know and just having a, a strong circle of family and friends that support me no matter what and we lift each other up we encourage each other um 
we cover each other. You know, even if, if one of us pays or the other one pays, it's all understood and it's all taken care of. You know, and I'm so blessed and grateful to have that type of community. So when it came to going live, this was at a point, I would say early, late June, early July, where I was really struggling. I was really struggling. And even just spending money to get across town on a lift would put me in a funk for days, like $15. Like I was allowing $15 to put me down, right? And I eventually started, you know, working out more, doing step classes and not having a car. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get back and forth to this? How am I gonna get back and forth to this? And you're probably wondering like, what does this have to do with you going live? But fast forward to me going live, I started making money. And mind you, I was just doing this out of pure practice, like meeting my blessings halfway. I talked about my last video being, I wanna be a full-time content creator, but I've learned that in order to heal some of my wounds and my troubles or whatever's blocking me, whatever's like a barrier of entry towards getting to where I need to go, one, I have to be strong in my faith and trust God. You know, one of my sayings this year has been trust God, trust myself, trust the process. And my new saying is trust the abundance. So I was realizing as I was going to more step classes, spending money on, on cars and, you know, uh, when I say cars, I mean lifts. I was realizing that I was, my default setting was to complain. So if I'm focused on scarcity, lack mentality, you know, what I'm missing, what I'm losing, then I'll always be a loser. <laughs> Plain and simple. That's just how I was thinking. So I was like, okay, well, if I trust the abundance, what does that look like? Okay, well, going to these classes, I get to hang out with friends. I get to meet new people. I get to get back in shape and feel better about myself. And I do after I leave each class. Um... Am I really going to let 15 to $30 stand in the way of that? No. Then it came to, okay, well, if I really do want to be a content creator, here is God blessing me with this opportunity to go live. Is Am I going to seize it or not? So I did on both platforms. And in the beginning, it was a little bit of a struggle trying to find my footing and you know, getting comfortable on camera, getting comfortable talking to nobody, because there were definitely days and weeks where I was just talking to talk and no one would be in those lives. And then, you know, as as time went on and I would promote it more or I would find certain topics to talk about, my community is now actively starting to find me. And with File Life on TikTok, so if you haven't already, go follow. I've, I'm currently at about 1,300 followers. And as I said earlier in this video, I was around 100-ish for a good three years. <laughs> I remember when I was at 50 and I was posting as if I had 50,000. You know, every time I would post, oh, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. But I realized that like, you really have to prepare for your moment. You really have to reach your blessing. You have to meet your blessings. You can't just only manifest i mean i am i a firm believer in manifesting yes in praying yes in god yes but i also have learned especially being self-employed that i am responsible for so much more than i think i am not just responsible but i have to really be my, my biggest cheerleader my biggest fan my biggest supporter and being motivated to get up and do things is really difficult when you don't know your next steps so if I have to be more disciplined with scheduling, with saying I'm going live every week at this time, I'm, you know, narrowing down my niche to basketball, lifestyle, stuff like that. And if it's working, why veer any further away from that when it's actually working? So I guess what I'm getting at is the life of being a full-time content creator, the life of being a self-employed entrepreneur requires a lot of work. Even if you're doing things that look easy or are fun or are more flexible, there's a lot more work on the maintenance end than there is in the actual task. So I just wanted to come on here and check in and talk to you guys and tell you guys where I've been at. 
you know, I'm really just meeting my blessings and doing my best to not play any games, not self-sabotage, to focus on the abundance, to focus on the blessings, to focus on gratitude. You know, it's it might sound cliche, you may say corny, it might sound dumb, whatever you call it. I don't think it's this, but your attitude of gratitude is the key to success. And how you define success is up to you. So take that with a grain of salt, however you want to interpret it, however you want to hear it or receive it today, years from now, months from now. That's just where I'm at in life. And I'm just so grateful that I have went through those trials earlier in the summer in order to meet my blessings, in order to see my blessings ahead. And some people may say, you know, you're spending so much time on, on, on something that's not making you anything. And I'm like, well, I don't see it that way. I see the bigger opportunity. I see the bigger blessing first and foremost, you know, and the fact that, yeah, all these vanity metrics are great and I'm able to make a few bucks, you know what I mean? On a weekly basis is more than I ever did in the last three years, you know, and just committing and focusing and and being disciplined in this blessing and really learning how to listen to God. That's one thing that I've, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at. I'm just so grateful that I went through those trials earlier in the summer in order to meet my blessings, in order to see my blessings ahead. And, 